Hey man, what's going on? It's your boy YB Stack. You on ball king crawl, jumping out of porch again with dirty glue belts. Sure. Prince showed y'all what it sound like when Thor cry. Now let me show you what it sound like when Thor cry. Now it's just still. All right, so we got YB Stacks jumping off the porch once again with us today, man. Hey man, what's happening? I'm feeling good, man. How you feeling today, man? Good to see you coming back by, man. Man, listen, man, I had to, man. I told y'all I was coming back. Yep, you certainly the did. Grind best, I told y'all from the grind, and it was going up, and I'll be back. For sure, man. You only been home like 18 months. You've been on the porch twice. Man, listen, man. <laughs> no, I've been home what? Oh, October. I'm deep, man. 14 months. 14, my bad. Let me get it right. 13, 14. 13 and a half. Nah, that's what's good. Grinding man. hard. Every day. For sure, man. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and introduce who you got sitting on the porch with you today, man. You're a little deeper than you was last year, man. Man, the family. That's it. We ain't gonna do no names and faces. Okay. <laughs> Y'all see them. They know. Okay. Uh -huh. It's a whole lot sitting there, though. Yeah. They represent a whole lot. They're big. For sure. So, all right, let, let's, man, how would you describe these last 14 months since you came home and turning up and all this, man? Bro, this shit been crazy. It been like, it went so rapid, man, so quick. Like, I'm like, oh, shit, you know what I'm saying? Because it was like, you know how when you plan something out, you like, I'm finna do this right here. And then, you know, I'm making a, my bid and not to skip no step. I want to do everything how it's supposed to go. And then, man, it'd be going so, the system went to going so smooth, like, I thought I was going too fast. I had to go back to the drawing board, like, hold up, man, let me check this out. <laughs> but get what, though, it'd be that energy, though, because I know what I was coming doing, what I was putting out. Yeah. And it would come back in to me the same way, man. I'm just thankful for that. Nah, definitely, man. Yeah. So this is how you planned it? You expected it? Somewhat. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Somewhat. I'm, I'm, I'm a visionary, but I ain't just going to act like I seen all this shit coming. <laughs> you feel me? Because it was like, I'm going to take this route and I'm going to get my all. But, man, the way everything came together, it was like, whoa. Because, see, and this, you know, last time when I came here, this store was in the making then. Mm -hmm. And it was a lot of knowing what you're going to do, but not knowing how you're going to do it. You know what I'm saying? It was a couple speed breaker, but we ain't really ran to no roadblock yet. Yeah. I don't think it's going to be none. Ain't no better. Yeah. So I think you were prepared for all this mentally, though. I wore, though. I wore because I was ready for whatever. Yeah. It was like, you know what I'm saying? I knew, like, failure or defeat wasn't an option. It wasn't an option, so it was just like, I'm going to embrace whatever come and take it how it happened. But on the outside, the way it going up, that kind of was shocking because I thought it was going to be. Don't get me wrong, that ain't hard, but, like, the effort that I had to put in, it ain't as hard to keep my drive going as I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Because I know me, I get, you know what I'm saying, discouraged and then, and there's going to be a lot of that in the game. But you know what, though, I've been handling that shit better than ever. Shot myself sometimes the way I just brush it off. Yeah. All right, okay, it's a blessing around the corner. Nah, definitely, man. Yeah, kind of just talk about the progress you've made here in 2021, man. Man, listen. It was like, bro, I had to go for it. Man, we got to do this. We got to do this. People talking to me about budgets and stuff. And like, man, I ain't understanding none of that shit. All the time I know, what you going to charge me to do this right here? And I'm going to give you the money. You know what I'm saying? I ain't understand the concept behind the budgets and the planning and then making, that, that makes it go more fluent. You know what I'm saying? So I learned that. I've been learning a lot as I go. Me and my members. You know what I'm saying? Shout out my management team, man. FMG, Fat Money Game, man. APSN, sure. Yes, sir, man. Yeah, speak on about FMG, man. How did this whole thing come about? And what's it like having, you know, a team behind you to where you can kind of just focus on just making the music, man? Man, that's a blessing. You know what I'm saying? Especially considering the way that it came about. But it like, you know, that my brother and my manager, they co-owners of it. It's a management company, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, it like, they believe, they believe. They make me go a little bit harder too because like, you know, you can't let them people down. You know what I'm saying? You got investors and people caught up in this and that and 
You can't be, you know, you can't play right there money. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If I don't believe you want to. Yep. Definitely, man. Yeah, so I got the wheel, man. I ain't gonna crash the car. They know that it's an honor to have them believe in me like that. Considering how I came from and the path that I took before I got where I'm at now. Yeah. Nah, definitely. Just having someone in your corner like that will just motivate you to go so much harder. Like, man. I, I can't even let myself down. I can't let them down, too, man, if they believe in me like this. For real. They like my people, boy. Like, the one who believe, they believe. They be like, man, what you doing? Why you been, you know what I'm saying? Making sure niggas stay focused. They take a lot too, because they know I go and scream, boy. I'd be, uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's been easy to adjust into the fame, especially in your in your city, man. Like, we talked about it last time. I, ain't, ain't too, I don't think any rappers have really made it out from your city, man. Man, listen, bro. That shit is crazy. That, that, that fame shit. Man, listen, bro. I think that shit worse than the money. Because, hmm. like, it, like, Man, I was in Walmart. Shout out to Covington, too. Covington, Georgia. I got high number streams and shit coming out of Covington, Georgia. I'm in Walmart, bro. I'm running late for some shit. I was late today. <laughs> I'm running late. So I'm at Walmart, man. And then I seen this girl. She had like four kids with her. So when I been to Kona, they're like, Martin, go to YB Stack. She like, who? They're like, you know, that nobody seen. <laughs> no, no, right here in the store. So I'm like, ooh, ooh. And the little girl, like, and he's saying that make it out, so on too. I was like, whoa. I took some pictures and shit one though. I forgot the girl's name, but yeah, shout out to them though. That was like the most. Then when I realized, like, this shit, like, people really watching the norm. Because when you be working, you can be so caught up, so you really don't get a chance to heal, you know? Come in or really see the reaction of what you're doing. And, and, and then what the experience it, to show you to take you to new height. Yeah. And the kid, it be them kids for me, like, you know what I'm saying? They be tuned in, man. They know what's man, going on. Man, it be doing for me, boy. I don't really be caring about on niggas and shit. <laughs> but them kids, though, boy, they on to it. I had a little team party for my little cousin and them and shit. Mm. And it was like they had to have me, though. That meant a lot to me. And I seen the you know what I'm saying? No, that's love. So you kind of embrace being a, you know, like a celebrity in your city and all that, man. Yeah, man, it's, it's, it's a good and a bad. Because they always watch you. you can't get away. I can't get away with that. No, I got to be cool. I got to be cool. I'm going to stay cool. Yeah. <laughs> What's been one of the biggest lessons you, you learned this past year, though? This year? The year out there, the fuck you old? <laughs> man, let me tell you something. Man, this shit. This shit serious, man. This shit about that bad, man. And like, you got to be careful, man. Be careful. That's a lesson that I thought I had already mastered. I had to learn it over again with it right here. Cause man, it's so easy, but to put that money in the wrong place. And you'll be like, but when, even though like me going through this shit and I'm learning, you like, okay. I ain't gonna tell you what to charge me for your service. You see what I'm saying? But when I pay you for your service, though, know, you gonna give me what I paid for. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got to stand on that bill, it's gonna stand on mine. You know what I mean? And then the more left, like, be careful. Yeah. You got to be careful, because it don't take much. Yeah, man, you'll be back at square one. Was that like paying for features, or? Nah, not necessarily like paying for features. Because like, you know, most of the time, you know what I mean? It's gonna be like, a, people gonna make music with who they feel. You gonna, mm -hmm. they are gonna develop a relationship with somebody. Like the future that I got, that I done released, all those people I really like, had a chemistry with them. Like, I think the most distant one was, well, yeah, it's on Rick Dream, um, um, the stack. No dude named Stack. He from um, Athens. Shout out to Class City. He was um, he from what I did. Those were the most two, like that was really just like being the wide. Everything girl pretty much came together just from being in the atmosphere around people. King Clown, Young Ralph, Let's Go to Dunn. Those are three recent features that I dropped. Yeah. But I got some more in the cut though. 
Okay. What was it like working with Ralph, man? Oh, man. Man, Drew a while, man. <laughs> Drew a while. He cool as a motherfucker, though. And bro, man, we chop it up good, man. I met him through, man, Long Live Chenard, you know. They had booked me on Chenard, you know. them. I had booked me at, on QCE. Okay. And then, um, man, we locked in and we went crazy from there. We went like, we just, what, what you doing? He be making sure, he be like pushing me too, though. Right? I be like, man, keep going, cause, you know what I'm saying? Something gonna come out of it. He speak a lot on my injury, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's definitely one of the real ones in the game, man. Oh, yeah, for sure that. Yeah. And that pressure, man, that shit turned out hard, too, man. Ooh. Man, this is, it was crazy. Because I was going through that. You know me, I be rapping off how I be feeling, and I was going through that at the time. He was like, man, you got a beat that just so happened. Man, I had that beat in there. He was like, ooh, yo. I, had, I, mean, I think it was on the Zaytoven key for real. <laughs> yeah, he would really eat that up. So what's your creative process like? You just be punching in or do you write? I've been punching, I be punching in lately, but I still ain't picked that pen up yet. It's crazy. Hmm. I ain't had time, man. Shit been going so rapid. Shit been going fast, man. And then I get in there, and then I might just be sitting there going through some beat. I don't even make it all the way through the living room. I be like, man, I like that. Yeah, load that up. MJ be like, bro, what about that? I be like, I can't catch it right now. Just load them. We'll go back to it. All right, so you got this new EP dropping on the 24th, man. Kind of speak on, you know, the title and what type of vibes we should expect to hear on here, man. Too low mo, man. A league of my own. Off the first tape, which I re-released when I came home last year. Okay. Yeah, it's the two. It always gonna be on Criminal E. Long live Mad Mac. That means something to me like that. You know what I'm saying? My little cousin, he was like my brother. We had law him on Criminal E 2015. So my, that kind of be my way to chill myself up during this time of the year. Yeah. Low mo, too low mo. It's going down. Hosted by Bigger Ranking, man. Yeah, talk about that. How did that major. come together, man? Got the OG on there, man. Man. It was on some like, it was crazy, bro. It was like, man, we had went on, um, we had reached out to them for something. We had went through thinking of game for something. I think like, uh, I don't know if it was some promo or what we, we were trying to get him to do a single for me. Okay. Yeah. And then um, they ended up having a showcase at the Tiger Tiger. And it was like, you know, I had did travel from the basement and, and um, the interview with him, him and Baby Drill. So then when, when I go to the showcase, I go in there, man, rock that motherfucker. <laughs> they calling out the wonders and shit. So I'm like, damn, I'm sitting there. But I'm knowing I already got, like, I'm finna got some of lined up anyway. Then the prize, like, I already won. So I'm really just, like, the exposure, really. Man, that man said, man, look at this shit here. He calling out the one, he done called, I think it was like six places he got down, he was like, man, look at this shit right here. I'm a stupid motherfucker. This man was just finna cash out, cause first play was, you know, hosting the, you feel oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> he like, man, look at this shit right here, you know what I mean? I was like, boy, thank you. <laughs> Dang, I'm gonna try to go get me a feature with these fire rat right? wolf finna get you. <laughs> nah, Dang, for real. <laughs> for real. So what type of vibes are you putting on this EP, man? What are you giving them to them? Raw, uncut, true. That, that heal you, that, that, it's gonna be some of that heal you music, man. It's gonna, it's gonna heal you if you're hurting. Make you smile, make you feel good if you're feeling bad. It's gonna make you do what you're gonna do. That, 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 that's gonna be like an egg pill, boy. It's gonna make you do however you're feeling, you're gonna be feeling it when you bump that one. If you want to do good, you're going to do extra good. If you want to do bad, you're going to go get on the fuck shit, too. But it's going to balance you out, though. You won't have to skip now to start. you probably start something old, but you won't skip now. <laughs> so what's the next video you plan to drop off the EP, then? Off of that one? Mm -hmm. Art Vibe. We were just talking about it. Art Vibe. The Art Vibe coming soon. It was a single. I had been dropped a single, though. Okay. It had been in the making. 
my cameraman went through a whole lot of shit. The one who I want to shoot that, I've been networking with the cameraman though. I know there's some fire, there's some fire ass shooters out here. Mm. Yeah, he got some fire shooters. What about feature wise? You gonna put anyone on there? The Ralph oh no, no, ain't nobody on there. That that too low mo. That, that low mo means something. Okay. Ain't nobody on there. Low mo is gonna always be me. Lomo gonna always be me. Okay. Hey. He like, man. I started out like that. And then, like, now, the grind I'm on now, like, bro, all the praying I done did and got on my knee, man. <laughs> praying and crying about this shit, trying to win, cause I don't want shit to have to go back the other way. I can't give nobody the chance to say I did it because of them, you know what I'm saying? So that's gonna be my way here. So this way, go over the top and do it, then what? I did it, me and the team. Mm-hmm. And they're gonna be like that. I Independent. That. Yeah. 100%. <laughs> what about producer wise? Who'd you cook up with on here? Ooh, man. Stat Boy Twan. Okay. Shout out to that boy, Stat Boy Twan, man. I finally got him. We finally got our relationship where we needed it, you know what I'm saying? Um, Kids, timeline, or, hmm. Well, kids, timeline, that may be it. Okay. I know it's a whole lot of um, stat boy torn and kids on that though. Yeah, no different. And how would you say this EP is going to compare to your previous release, the, the King Cross? We, man, I don't know. I don't know. It like, see, man, I'm like, I'm my biggie, like, I'm my biggie critic, I guess you could say. It hard to got to plead me. But that King Crow, I like that. I like that. I like how I can Even though a lot of songs on there, I did not like it at first though. Mm-hmm. Because I usually let bro, bro don't gonna pick this shit because they gonna be like this, then, and I'm gonna be like, oh, really? They gonna be like, you tripping. So they do that like that. But I don't know, man. I got to see the reaction, man. Yeah. Most of my music be like, to me, it have to grow on me. Yeah, it have to grow on me. I don't just be like, like self that song, that whole look, I got a song with that boy King Clown though. On the end, they hear me that shit on the end of that song. They were like, I ain't thought they were gonna keep that though. Till I heard it, I was like, yeah, yeah, keep it. I was like, oh, but that's it. I was like, but <laughs> that's it. it. <laughs> yeah, I was like, but that's it. But I said, but I don't like too much shit I be driving, but that's it right there. And it crazy, cause he called me. I went live, man. Bro was way somewhere else, man. I went live. He heard the beat and heard me humming on it. He was like, boy, stop that. I'm coming to get on now. <laughs> And then in the midst of that, a little while later, he called back like, hey, y'all got to come get me. <laughs> That's why he come in on the first soon he walked in the street like, fair car, fair money, stuck on the E-way without no gas, but I got bad, saying gas money. True story. <laughs> he really broke down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's hard right there. It hey, don't be the vibe, though. That's how I be. <laughs> Hold up. Wait. It really happened. <laughs> yeah. Just like that. So it be like, man, you never know, man. I don't know how I'm gonna come. I'm gonna keep pumping it though. I been I just been blowing that catalog up. We going down next for them. Mm-hmm. We finna two low mo of that. We finna ride in two mo- low mo. And you know what I'm saying? Get on good visuals. That's where it's all at these days, man. Yeah. I'm Need the visuals. Good, good visual. Keep trying to expand the fan base. I'm trying to reap more and more hood. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm going through that my thing. I I targeted my audience. I'm in the trench. I'm in the trench. Cause I want to see them go crazy. It just be something I like when they be rocking to my shit in the club. Nah, for real. Yeah. <laughs> That's a high you can't match anywhere else. You or... can't. You can't. Still independent, right? Oh, yeah. For sure. Man, they ain't talking about that. Man, everybody trying to trick them all, folks. Hmm. Everybody trying to trick them all, folks, man. This shit crazy. I don't see it, bro. It be like, what, what the fuck? They want this, or if you don't give them this, oh, no, nah, it ain't J. Hold on now. This same damn song you just contacted me about, now you gonna do it, because I won't go for the bullshit. 
Everybody crazy when they don't go for your boy. Oh, man, you crazy. Okay, then I'll be crazy then, because you ain't finna treat me out of this. Hell no. If I got to goddamn put on the dotted line for this right here, it's going to be worth it. We're going to be straight. None of these folks ain't going to have to work no more. I'm going to call them like, man, let's hear y'all walk, walk out now. <laughs> Tell your ball, man, it's over with. <laughs> man, you got to put somebody else on that road, because, man, it's up. That's the only way. Other than that, we keep doing how we doing. We ain't doing bad. We, 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 we reeling it in, man. Yeah. I'm doing everything I want to do, because I told you before. It, it, it bigger than the mic to me. I got to put it down for where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? I got to put it down for where I'm at. I got to show them folk, like, yeah, we doing it down here too. Mm -hmm. Remember how um, Pastor Trouble feeling when he dropped, uh, when he called P? Mm -hmm. I'm on the phone with the whole industry, like, listen here. She, everybody said they was a soldier. Well, what's up? Then they go to war. With this boo though, come have them. When I popped this shit, oh man, same way I told you all this stuff last year. Man, when I popped this shit off, it going down, man. For real though, it's gonna be like a whole man. Why did I be back again? For sure. <laughs> sure, man. What's your thoughts on the rap game, the music industry, everything that's going on right now, man? Right now, as in like what? Shit, a lot of a lot of rappers passed away. We just lost Dolph, just lost Slim for a hundred. That crazy too. I caught man, long little dog though. I had met dog one time. Yeah. At Intermezzo Studio, it be a lot of a lot of people come through though and shit. And like though, he was cool that nigga. He was on rubber time though, but he still was cool. You know how most people be like, he wasn't like that. Dog, he he, he was really cool nigga, man. I feel like it's just crazy though how that happened, cause they trying to make it look like. You know what I'm saying? They on hood, closed in on them. That that bullshit. But I don't know though, cause like, I'm a street nigga, right? I'm talking about, but I'm gonna be like goddamn, uncle goddamn on Friday after Nick. Well, when I get my bag, what? When you win the ladder, you out there, bitch. <laughs> Man, I went my bag, I'm gone. Okay, go both ways. He ain't gotta be the one going. You can go out there and do something to it. And, you know what I mean? You treat either way it goes, so get what? You have to separate yourself from it when it like that. If it get like that, you know what I'm saying? But I don't think I have that problem, but I hate it for niggas that do, cause that shit be fucked up, boy. Like you can't go home and tell me you can't go take care of your people. But shit. I say long live him though, but it is. Boy, that though, that about the last news I heard about the industry, man. I've been so busy. Yeah. Motherfucker have to send me a um a link. Or send me a, you know what's going on on the internet like that. Why they have to send it to me? <laughs> nah, I feel that you locked in on your own shit, man. For real though. Yeah. So looking ahead, 2022, man. What what's some of your plans? What's some of your goals for this new year, Stax? Man. I'm going crazy, 2022. I'm going crazy. I'm gonna drop shit back, back. I don't want my own. I, it just be so much of like, what I'm gonna do with this, what I'm gonna do with this. So I don't know. We're going through the catalog, get what? We're putting shit together now. We're gonna drop them. Every, what you think I should drop one every month or every two months? Let it breathe. Give them every two months. Right, every two, two months, honey, man. See, the thing is, like I said, visuals is where it's at. Yeah. If you can hit them with new visual every two weeks, that, that's how you really want to apply that pressure on. That's a good, see, I've been debating on that. You think that's a good, that's every two weeks, mm -hmm. new visual. And I'm, then, you know, see which one the fans are really fucking with, and that's the one that you push. Like, push that one to the DJs and all that. I'm going for that. Appreciate you. It's a free game right for you, bro. Free game, man. <laughs> Industry hack, man. See what I'm saying? As long as I keep learning this stuff, and I keep on running in the real one like you, get what down. What the hell I need a deal for? Yeah. You see you know, all these... It's always easier man. to push one song than a, group, a project full of songs, you know what I'm saying? It is, it is. And get what? Because that's how you came in with that Nobody Say, man. <sighs> Boy, that Nobody Say was so serious. It's still going crazy to their day. I bet. For real, man. They like, everybody. They like, my flag black in that Kodak. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> get no angel with me, nigga, like, no cap. I be like, man. Everybody got a favorite on bar in this song. 
It sounds good. Okay. You may, you may need to keep pushing that one. Because, oh, I mean. you know, when you're independent, it may take two, three years before that, that song actually reaches its full potential. Listen, man, I'll tell you something. I told him when I started out, after I dropped it. I said, man, this going to be the longest first day out song that get put. Why this? <laughs> I ain't letting up all day. Think I lose that moment? Well, all right. It'll die before I start pushing. The longer they still hollering nobody to say, get what? I'm still going to be hollering nobody to say. <laughs> nah, for real, bro. For real, though. I ain't gonna let that go. Nope. Gonna... Them boys got sure. it up. <laughs> <laughs> that shit done went crazy, man. Yep. You know, throw, throw someone else on there. Throw a new verse on that bitch. Man, I thought Give it another it. push. I'm real, man. I be real, like, kind of. I be real, kind of skeptical about that shit, though. I'm gonna tell you, man, they're rowdy, they're rowdy, you, boy. You gotta be careful, man. You got to be careful. It'll have to mean something to me for me to put them off on now. I ain't just gonna sell out. I just put them off on now. It'll have to come together, right? It could, though. I ain't gonna say it could. In the beginning, I was like, hell no. But now, though, you know what I'm saying? It feel to make sense, though. It feel to make sense, we, we can do it. But they gonna have to show another come step on that bit, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah they gonna have to step I mean, on You already that. came correct, so the, the bar is high. They know they can't just put nothing on that shit. That video's still going up, too, man. So, all right, you got any shout outs you'd like to give before we wrap it up here? Man, listen. Hell no, nah, not really. The motherfuckers ain't gonna come shout me out. But listen, it like, I got APSN, FMG. It's so. Shout out to the team, shout out to the family. You know what I'm saying? Put my folk down the road. So shit, no whole shit, man. Long live. Everybody we went on the law, man, that's supposed to be here right now with me, boy. That's a lot of them, man. Don't get no angels. I can't name them all, cause I don't wanna leave nobody out. But they know what I do it for. They know who I do it for. You know what I'm saying? For real. Prince showed y'all what it sound like when Thug cry. Now let me show you what it sound like when Thug cry. Now ask yourself, do you care whether you live or die?